Crafty Friends. How's everyone doing today? This is Sherry, and I'm here to participate in hashtag Junk Journal July 2024. Just as a reminder, it's hosted by Meg at Meg Journals, and she is in collaboration with Get Messy Art. So today, I think it's day number 15. This is the, the book that I made uh, a while ago that I wanted to go ahead and use up for this, use up the pages for this um, collaboration uh, th this time. So today, yes, number 15 is homemade. So uh, I'm going to check that off. I'm going to go over to our page that we're using today. And it's a little different because I've been using two page spreads. And today I'm going to use one page because this page I did in a collaboration uh, in the, with uh, another cult you know, collage collaboration. So this page was previously done. I don't know why I put it back here, but I did. So <laughs> there it is. But we're going to concentrate on this page here, homemade. So um, being that it's, oh, what is it, homemade or handmade? See, I put a little bookmark in now so that, did I take my bookmark out? <laughs> I did, look at that. Okay, here's my bookmark. I got this little plastic thin ruler I thought I would keep in here so I could find the page any, any, um, at any time but or easier. Here it is, homemade. Homemade. So, homemade. So I have some handmade paper here, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and use that on here. Uh, someone made this, not me. I didn't make it, but I guess it was homemade by someone. <laughs> I received it in Happy Mail. So I want to just tear a piece to go over this page. I'm going to tear it about, I like to cover the whole thing, so about right there. It's very, uh, it's first of all, um, thank you to the person who sent it to you, uh, to me. I hope you're watching uh, today and I hope you've seen me. I have used it in the past here and there, so I am using it. And I really appreciate it because it's the only, I mean... I've had paper that I've picked up that looked like it was possibly, uh, hand, you know, handmade or homemade, but uh, this looks really looks like it's homemade. It's just really beautiful too, the colors and everything. So anyway, we're gonna put a piece down here. I've got a little extra here. Let's see how much extra I have. Uh, I think I'm just gonna let it poke out over the top a little bit. On the, a little bit on the top and the bottom so I don't have to make a scrap or tear anything off of this beautiful paper. I picked yellow because of the other papers I'll be using today so it would uh, make the other paper stand out. So let's glue this down and since it's such, it's kind of a heavy paper I'm going to, going to use my uh, fabric tack here to go ahead and glue it down. And I won't put it right up to the top because well I'll go ahead and put it on here that's what I'll do. I was going to put it on there, but let's put it on here. So I think I have everything I need around me here, but if I need something else, if I think of something else that I want to use, I'll get up, pause and get up and get it. So uh, let's see how this one page turns out when I've been doing two pages the whole time. But yeah, this, this uh, collab is moving right along here. Uh, unfortunately, uh, <laughs> some, that means summer is going quickly, but uh, I guess it always does. I always want to make summer last longer because I like the warm weather, but whatever it is, what it is, I'll just enjoy it as I can. I'm enjoying my flowers, my flower garden, and hoping to get some vegetables soon as I planted my vegetable plants late. So I've got a pepper growing, I know that. <laughs> I've got one pepper. I see it growing. Uh, okay, so next, the, the big thing I wanted to put down. Well, I'll, I'll, let's first put down a few scraps here. I have these scraps from previous the previous pages that I still had sitting here. So I thought, why not use those in today's? Because they would show up beautifully on this yellow background. So let's do that. Let's see. I think I'll use my art glitter glue here. And just use up a few scraps. Uh, I didn't use these the other day because they were too dark. But um, that's why I picked out this yellow background. Because 
these will look beautiful on here and I'm just going to use the whole piece here here's some um, information about embroidery here so let's just make that our kind of like page edge decoration so we'll put that right there and so yeah I've been enjoying keeping trying to keep up with this so <laughs> so far so good but you know I might get behind but I'll be I'll be here I'll do it whether I get behind or stay ahead or be on time whatever okay so this is another piece from that same page and we will put this let's put this over I really I kind of like the torn edge so if we cover up anything it'll be down here on the non non torn edge so we'll put that up there in the corner and then uh, let's see what else I have these two that's all the scraps I have so let's do this next I thought this would be fun to use this little girl as a focal point she is also something left from a page I used the other day and I thought she was so cute with this old really old-fashioned uh, rotary phone here so I'm going to tear around her and I, think I could ink around her but I don't think I will I'm not worried about making it look making this particular piece look like I mean it is vintage so you know I'm not really worried about making it look more vintage <laughs> but I do have some sprays out here that I'd like to use this time I haven't used I that's one thing I haven't used in a while and I have my bis, bits basket uh, out here. I'm going to save this in case I need some text or something so I'll put this over here for the, for the moment She's got her foot hanging down here off the chair, so we'll try to keep that, and we'll just continue tearing around. I'm trying. It's a kind of an awkward piece here to tear around because of the shape of it, but I think I'm doing okay. Okay, so yeah, I thought that was so cute. I was like, I have to use that somewhere, whether it's here or in one of my journals. So I thought, well, why not use it today? Uh, so that I guess the homemade thing is the back the background here that I used and I'm making this collage at home I hope that counts <laughs> uh, for homemade I guess we're all just doing I mean I'm just doing uh, these days I'm doing everything from my stash I'm trying not to buy anything as far as you know craft supplies okay so I'm gonna put this right in the middle and then in my bits basket let's see what I have uh, I might you know I've got these little pieces here let's put this out and then we'll just go through here again and see if there's anything I can use I think I might use one of these little pieces as a label for my number Let's do that. We'll glue that down. This is just little pieces of graph paper that I cut up into these little rectangular shapes and rounded the corners <laughs> just to save them from the trash and use them for something. So we've got a little label right down here made from graph paper. And I think that looks really cute. If you like, I mean, if you like paper and you like, you know, graph paper, you will probably like this. And it's number 15, so I'll go ahead and put that on there got my marker right here 15 let's see I'm trying to decide how big or little I want it I think I just want a little 15 here so I'm going to try to stay in the squares <laughs> little squares on the graph paper if I can well that's not a very good five sherry but it is what it is let me make it a little bigger maybe that'll help me like it better it's kind of scrawny there okay that looks better the numbers are a little far apart but I was trying to stay in the squares and leave a space in between there so that's what that's all about okay now uh, these little coins I wouldn't mind using up as just a, like a little decoration these darker ones these are these are actually stickers so let's use those somewhere to decorate and since these are chipboard I will use there are they are stickers but I don't really trust them 
they're not very sticky I've had them for a while like a few years so let's just stick these around somewhere I'll put this little one right there and then this this one a little bit bigger one wait is that a piece of paper coming off there yeah that's a piece of paper that needs to come off okay the back of the sticker part and then we'll put this one right there okay now let's see what else is in here that we can use up I don't really still that suit, suitcase I would love to use that up or the globe and this is like a dime coin here it's another coin that looks like a dime but uh, I don't know I don't really think it needs any more let's see let love grow that looks cute I you know I don't have a plan but I'm just putting things down so I like that it looks kind of vintagey I mean it's been in this basket for a good while I think I looks like I distressed it actually hmm interesting <laughs> very interesting Okay, and just so it sticks down over, over everything I used my fabric tack. So we'll put that up there. Let love grow. You never know how these things are going to turn out when you don't have a plan. You just kind of go with the flow and see what happens. Okay, now let's deal with our little glue lids here so nothing dries out. And then all right, it's looking pretty cute, and I like how this actually goes with the colors in here, doesn't it? it I guess that's why I picked it out, and when I put it down, it looked looked good. Okay, now I don't know. Let me see. Let me just look at a few pieces. I don't want to look through this whole thing. Let me just pull out a pile here, and we'll see if there's anything else we can add. This little piece is cute, but I don't think it's going to go anywhere. These are these are small little labels and I've already but I've already got a label on here so I don't think I need another label anywhere so when I guess we I'm gonna leave that here in case I change my mind here's a little with the word yes happy some of these are two-sided so that's a really pretty flower there but I don't think we'll be using it today a little squirrel a heart that we could cut out. Uh, oh, this side has a cute little. That would be good for putting a number on, too. This is just a little piece of scrapbook paper that I saved and made into this one, too. Cut, punched with my square, scallop square punch. A little teacup. That would look cute somewhere. Should we put the teacup on here? I kind of want to. I I should have used that probably in a Alice in Wonderland journal that I made, but I for, probably forgot that it was in here. I received this in Happy Mail. Here's a calendar. A few other little pieces of a an index card that I cut into little like journaling spots or like little mini journaling cards. A flip up triangle writing spot. The word hi. A little tag cute that would go but it's there's not really a place for it I do like this little teacup here but I think I want to use it actually I think I just want to go ahead and use it it looks so cute right there doesn't it I don't know why but it does I'm gonna use it I'm just gonna use it why not <laughs> I don't know when I'm making an Alice in Wonderland journal again so All about using up goodies. I would love to use every little piece in my bits box here. So I always try to get it out. That it's kind of like my little scrap box, but it's not necessarily scraps. So little things I don't know what to do with. That's what goes in there. And you can see through this, so you can still see her leg and her shoe there hanging down over the uh, chair. So. Yeah, I like that. Okay. All right, so the spray. I got three sprays out because I wasn't sure what I wanted to use. I've got blue. I've got green. But I think I'm going to probably go with the Distress Oxide. <laughs> so let's shake that up. Try not to make a mess with it. 
And then I think we'll be done. We've got our number. It's probably, I know this does spritz out pretty good, so I want to be careful with this. So just a little spray over to just give it an overall kind of vintage look and interest. A little bit of interest. So, so let's see. There we go. It did a little mist there. Okay, let's do one down here. There we go. We've got some dots and some mist. We've got an overall vin very vintage look there now. I have to get my baby wipes out and wipe that off my table, but I'm going to say it's done. It needs to just sit and dry now, but you can you see the little spots here. There's some bigger spots and then kind of an overall mist, which, uh, yeah, I like it. A little different uh, than what I've been doing, so I wanted to try something different today. So I hope you enjoyed the overall process and the final ending here of this day number 15. I'm going to look, I'm going to take a quick peek without closing it because this has to dry like I said. But the next prompt is petal, like a flower petal. Petal. I, I would say flower petal. Okay. All right. I can't wait because I love flowers, so that should be fun. Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.